I think uh, first of all, uh, being in a company with a regional footprint, I think uh, culturally is uh, a bit different everywhere we go. I think in, uh, for example, in Singapore, I think uh, with the new graduates, uh, their aspirations are different. I think it, it is a challenge to make them uh, feel part of the company, to want to invest the X years with, with your organization so that they can grow with your organization. So, so, so showing them the clarity of career path, what's in it for them to invest that time with you and why not elsewhere. So that, that is definitely the biggest challenge. Uh, first of all, I'm very, very fortunate to have a, a senior finance manager who is actually also acting as the group treasury. Uh, she's the type of lady who, uh, if anyone spend one addi additional cent of the company, she will jump. You know? So I think as a good treasurer, you must uh, have the kind of quality, you know? penny pinching quality. And uh, also, uh, I always say, because she's quite elderly in the 50s, so I always joke that uh, it's like you go to the supermarket and buy things, you know the rates. So for her, similarly, every, every forex transaction she goes to, of course she goes to a favorite dealer, but she knows the market very well, so she can always get the best rates. And because Treasury is the lifeblood of the company, we need someone who is very, very responsible, you, someone you can entrust to not drop the ball in any circumstance. So uh, uh, they, they, they always say, uh, no, there's a question, what was the difference between a bookkeeper and an accountant? What was the difference between an accountant and a financial controller? I think first of all, in an in a SME setup, uh, uh, the organization head being the CFO, I, I myself have a, 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 a senior finance managers and finance managers who are actually taking multi-site full spectrum responsibilities. So for me, uh, at, with that kind of level of uh, degree of responsibility, they could well be financial controllers elsewhere. I think, I think uh, to be a good accountant today, uh, a good finance manager and a controller is not easy. You must understand the full spectrum of uh, uh, accounting and finance, not only the, 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 the soft aspect of uh, management reporting, financial reporting, uh, enterprise risk management, but also the hard aspect of finance. How, how do you how do you go down the operations to engage them to optimize your inventory? Because this is not purely finance. How do you then act as an effective business partner? So, so I always uh, joke with my, my finance colleagues. Last time accountant, you can hide in a room uh, and do your sums. Today you must go out there. You must be a salesman, you must, you must engage people. That's the tricky part. I myself, I come from an engineering background, you know, so I stumbled into accounting uh, uh, due to due to circumstances. You know, uh, definitely, accounting pro, uh, qualification has helped me as a CFO. But that being said, I'm looking at it as a context in a SME environment, because in a in a in a big organization, a big, much bigger organization, I do understand that the the, the financial con uh, the, the the CFO is uh, focused on playing the business partnering role. They probably have a big team of resources. Once again, uh, if you talk about the uh, SME, you know, you talk about compliance and uh, it is more a necessity that uh, the CFO must double out and multitask and along which we need to do our, know our accounting because we, we, we can't afford to have a pure accounting person just to take out accounts, a pure risk person just to take out risk. We must be a kind of a jack of all trades.